Lesson 1.3a, Finding Absolute Value. A number's absolute value is its distance from zero on a number line. It's the number of jumps. A number's distance from zero is how many jumps it is from zero. So the absolute value of negative three is three. It's one, two, three jumps from zero. And the absolute value of a positive three is also three. It's one, two, three jumps from zero. Vertical bars are used for writing, for writing absolute values. The absolute value of negative three is written as vertical bars with the negative three inside. Since negative three is three jumps from zero, the absolute value of negative three is equal to three. So when you see it inside the vertical bars, that means we need to know how many jumps away it is from zero. We can find and use absolute value by counting the distance, the amount of jumps from zero on a number line. An absolute value is always non-negative because it's a distance from zero. That means a distance is always a positive number. So here we have a number line and we've drawn Sam's house here. Here's the school and here's Emma's house. If each tick mark is one block, both of their houses are four blocks from school. The distance is four either direction. We've got one, two, three, four jumps from school and one, two, three, four jumps from school. If each tick mark is one block, they both live a distance of four blocks from school. It doesn't matter if it would fall negative or positive on a number line because a distance is always a positive number. Here we have some numbers, integers, and we have a number line. We need to graph the following numbers on the number line, then use the number line to find each absolute value. The first one is a negative two. That's gonna be here. We can graph that. Then we have a positive six. That's gonna be over here. We have a negative four. We have a positive two. We have a negative five, that's over here. And we have zero. Now we can count the jumps from zero to write their absolute values. For the absolute value of negative two, which is right here, it's one, two jumps away from zero its absolute value will be two, it's two jumps. For six, it's one, two, three, four, five, six jumps from zero. The absolute value of six is six. For negative four, it's one, two, three, four jumps away from zero. The absolute value of negative four is equal to four. And for positive two, that's one, two jumps away from zero. The absolute value of two is two. For negative five, one, two, three, four, five jumps. The absolute value is five. And how many jumps from zero is zero? What's the absolute value of zero? Well, how many jumps do we need to make to get to zero? None. The absolute value of zero is zero. And if two numbers are the same distance from zero, they're opposites, aren't they? We learned that opposites are the same distance from zero, so negative two and two are opposites. We learned that back in video 1.1. Here's the water line. We're gonna say that's zero, and we have a vertical number line, and it's going down by fives, multiples of five. five 10, 15, 20 into the negatives. So if the dolphins swam from zero at the surface to a depth of minus 15, these are in feet, it swam 15 feet. The absolute value of negative 15 is equal to 15. We would say the dolphins swam 15 feet. It swam a distance of 15.
In real-world situations, absolute values are often used instead of negative numbers. If we use a $30 gift card to make a $10 purchase, the change, what's changing in our gift card balance, can be represented by negative 10, a minus $10. The balance went down by $10, so the change is a negative number, it's negative $10. So if we had a $30 balance, the change is minus $10, now we have a $20 balance, we wouldn't say we spent negative $10. We use the absolute value and say we spent $10. Actually, the word spent tells us to do subtraction, doesn't it? To do a minus. If we increase the balance by $10 on the gift card, the change would be a plus 10. It would be a positive 10. We had $30 as a balance on the gift card. We added 10 more dollars to it. Now there's a $40 balance. The change was a plus 10, but we could just say the balance is $10 more, couldn't we? We don't have to say positive 10 or plus 10. Negative numbers are less than positive numbers because they go farther to the left on the number line, don't they? But the absolute value of a negative number can be greater than the absolute value of a positive number. So here we have negative five, and here we have a positive three. So the absolute value of negative five is greater than the absolute value of this three, because the absolute value of negative five is five. It's five jumps away from zero, and the absolute value of this positive three is only three, and five is greater than three. So even though a negative number is less than a positive number, once we use their absolute values, it could be greater. We're going to talk about this more in the next lesson. In our next lesson, 1.3b, we're going to be comparing absolute values. I really hope this lesson made sense to you and that now you understand absolute value is just how many jumps a number is from zero. And I hope you hit that like button because that lets me know that you understood and it also helps my channel. See you next time. Bye.